Let's thank him for another day that he has made. Let's thank God for the wisdom that has come forth this morning. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank the Spirit of God who is already here in our midst because we know that where two or three are gathered in his name, he is here with us. Let's just adore him. Let's thank him because his ways are pure. Let's thank him because his ways are holy. Let's adore him. Let's thank him for the gift of life, the gift of, you know, being able to come to church to seek his face. Let's thank God for this fellowship of one another. Let's thank God for the salvation of our souls. Let's thank God because God has strengthened us. This is day 11 of our fast and God has been faithful. Let's give him all the glory. Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised in heaven and on earth there is no one like you receive our praises O god thank you because your word make it even the simple to be wise thank you abba father thank you because there's no shadow of turning lord in you thank you because you are the giver of good gifts thank you because you are great and you are worthy to be praised thank you because everything that you make oh god is beautiful is wonderful thank you because you are the god that he lets us oh god of our diseases and the god that forgiveth us oh god of our iniquities we worship you we exalt you Thank you, Father, for your mercies that are new every morning. Thank you for your steadfast love. Thank you, Daddy, for your everlasting love. Thank you, Abba, Father. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, who can be compared to you? In heaven and on earth, there's no one like you. Oh, we worship you. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the everlasting Father, the commander of the heaven's armies, we worship you. The Adonai, we worship you. The El Shaddai God, we worship you. The Almighty God, we worship you. Our Jehovah Rapha, we worship you. The God in whom nothing is too difficult for him to do, we worship you. The God with whom all things are possible, we worship you. We exalt you. The God who makes all things beautiful in his own season, in his own time, we worship you. Ah, God, we exalt you. The one in whom the secret riches belong to, we worship you. Hey, the God who made things that were not as though they were, we worship you. We exalt you. Ah, Oh my God, we exalt you. Who can be compared to you, Lord? You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Oh, Mazanda Yagashende. Enda Lagaronde Yamazende Legoshende. The God with the mighty outstretched arm. We worship you. We exalt you. Oh, Mazonde Yagashende. Eranda Yalagazonde Yegoshanda. The husband to the widow, we worship you. The father to the fatherless, we worship you. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. E mazanda gazonde le mozanda. Rende la mashanda ya mazonda. Enda la garonde ya gazonde. The only wise God. He mazanda gazonde le mo. Enda gazonde mashende le ragazonda. We worship you. Ah, mazanda gazonde le goranda. Enda la garonde ya mashende. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are good. You are kind. Thank you, Father. There's no shadow of turning in you. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name that we have prayed. I want us to just ask this morning for the breath of the Almighty upon our lives this morning. We are gathered before him this morning. Just ask for the breath, the breath of the Lord upon your life this morning the breath of the Lord, even upon the service of today. We are gathered before him today, Lord. We just ask for your breath, your breath that brings life, your breath that gives life, O oh Lord, that it breathe upon us afresh, breathe your word upon us afresh, breathe your spirit upon us afresh, O oh God, that everything that is dead in our lives, everything dead in your church, O oh Lord, 
that it breathe your life, oh God, and give life, oh God, to every dead thing. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Mazonde Yagashende, Eranda Lagadoya, Mazonde Legodaya, Ende Lego Shanda Ragadoya, Mazonde, Endaya Lagaronde, Yamagazonde Lego Shanda. Oh, Father God Almighty, breathe upon us afresh in the name of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name that we have prayed, amen. I want you to pray for yourself this morning, that this morning the Lord will not pass you by, but God Almighty will make you a partaker of the blessing, a partaker of the word, a partaker of every good thing that, you know, is packed in the service of today, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself, pray for your spirit man, pray for yourself this morning, that Lord, I will not be an onlooker, I will not, I will not be an onlooker this morning, oh God. I pray that, Lord, you will not pass me by, Daddy, in the name of Jesus. Lord, every good thing of this service, Lord, let it, let it follow me, O oh God. Daddy, let your goodness, your mercy, Lord, in the service of today, let it follow me. In the name of Jesus, my God and my Father, I pray, O oh Lord, that in the service of today, Lord, you will visit me. I will not miss my visitation this service, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Mazonde Yagashe. Eranda Lagadoya Mazonde Legodea Enda Wagashende Le Moranda Gazonde Le Mogazanda Enda Ya Magazonde Legorende Ya Magashende Oh Mazanda Ya Lagaronde Ya Magadoya Enda Lagarende Ya Gazonde Legoshende In the name of Jesus Thank you Heavenly Father For in Jesus mighty name that we have prayed. Amen. I want you to just pray this morning just for the spirit of the Lord in the house this morning, for we can do nothing of our own self. Let's just begin to ask the Holy Spirit to move, to breathe over the service of today, to take total preeminence, to take total charge from the beginning to the very end. As the ministers or the, as the choir, the choristers come in to sing this morning, to offer worship, to offer praise, let's ask that the spirit of God himself will have his way the spirit of God himself will empower them fill them afresh in the name of Jesus as the servant of God comes this morning to give the word of God the word of God will come with power it will come with power to save to heal to deliver in the name of Jesus I want you to begin to pray this morning that you will be a partaker of the goodness of God you will be a partaker of the of the grace of God this morning the Lord will touch me he will touch you mazonde yagashende legoranda endaya mazonde for in Jesus mighty name that we have prayed amen and so father we want to thank you for another day that you have made we want to thank you because you are good because you are kind and because there's no one like you our father and our God we lift the service of today into your holy hands that it be glorified in our service today in Jesus name we pray that Lord you will bring your people unto yourself and it will be a glorious time in your presence thank you sweet Holy Spirit thank you Abba father thank you Lord Jesus for in Jesus mighty name that we have prayed amen hallelujah please can we lift up our hands to worship God this morning let's thank him because he's a good good father let's bless his name let's say father there is none like you let's lift up our worship to him there is no one like you oh God we give you praise Let's thank him for that which he has done for us even in this week. I want us to reflect on his goodness. The scripture says his mercy endures forever. What a mighty God he is. He kazabala da da dosha tabradi kazi palando zaprande gedosha halanda zebala badu zuprande kazi palagadosha hambroso tombra dizali hande yegede. Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Bow down and worship him. We bow down and we worship him. We worship him. Oh, worship him. Bow down and worship him. We enter in 
all entering you are consuming fire the sweet perfume hey your wholesome presence let's fill this room hey this is holy ground and this is holy ground we've come to this is this is oh, holy ground so come and bow down my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands Ten thousand, my beloved, my dear, is the most beautiful. I'm one thousand, ten thousand, my beloved, most beautiful.
Elohim Adonai. Elohim Adonai. Can we bask in His love? Can we celebrate Jesus? Can we give Him praise? Can we worship Him this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. All right, that's offering to God this morning. Hey. 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 Oh, what are you turned into wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you, not like you. Into the darkness you shine, heart of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you, not like you.
If you call to him, he will answer. If you run to him, he will answer. If you lift high, he will lift us up. Come, let's praise his name. Let's do that again. Hey, if you call to him, he will answer. If I run to him, Come, let's praise His name. It's gonna be my strength hey! Though the sorrow may last for a night The joy comes in the morning
us lift up our hands to worship this God. It's worthy of our praise. Thank you, Jesus. How great are you, O oh God? Thank you, Jesus. The splendor of our King. You glow in my majesty. Let hell the earth rejoice. Let hell the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light. Hey, darkness tries to hide. What do they do? They tremble at his voice. They tremble at his voice. Quite help me with this. How great. How great. He's our God. Sing with me, our great. Hey. He knows sing. He knows sing our great. Our great. Hey, is our God. Mm. And how great is our God? How great is our God? Sing with me, our great. Sing with me, our great. He's our God. He's our God. He always see our great. He always see our great. Our great, oh. God. You are the name above all names. Jesus, you are worthy of our praise. Ah, and my heart will sing our grace. He's our God. You are the name above all names. Oh, you are worthy of a praise. Hey, 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 and our heart will sing. Our heart will sing. Sing and I will sing our great. We hail you, we worship you, we hail you most high. We hail. Holy, a holy 
are you Lord For your name oh. For your name Your name, your name, your name is Lord Let's just place in his presence for your name is holy Malia Ladosha Manda Braga de Balagadusha Tabalagadosha Mirabosa Manda Balagade Lembra de Balagadosha Hippa Cassata Balagadosha Hempra Cassata Balagadosha and the Bosia Mando Sete Braga de Baladosha Mata Brada Balagada Nadadosi Kada Balagadosh Manto Soto Brada Balagadusha Hebraka de Balagada Gadagadosi Ika Soto Braka Sata Dadadados Mando Soto Braga de Balagadosh Hebraka de Balagadosi Palika Zeta Devosha Hebraka Zeta Balagadosha Hembroko Soto Pega de Balagadosha For your name is holy Your name is Lord. Amen. The book of Revelation reminds us that the elders, the four and twenty, what did they do? They cast their crown and they worship. They keep saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. It's a privilege to be gathered since this morning to just say that words to God. Because indeed, He is a holy God. Let's worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Let's just bless him. Let's bless him. Let's thank him. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. Lika zapalabadosh ata bragadush. Manto sobokasi bragadush. Ili ande belagada gadosh. Ando sorti abalagadosh. Alagba da ino alagba weda. Oromoni she fire. You are God all by yourself. We bless your name, O God. We give you praise. We bless you, O God. Mashata balagadosh. Ilo soto bradi si lande kete balagadusu liatem brokoso di kadusha. Leto si pali kazi palende poli ande gadosha. Oli akoso tombra di shalange dosa. Just bask in His glory. Just bask in His worship this morning. Just bow, plunge yourself into His. The Lord is here. He's here in our midst. Just, just worship him. Makasata yegede, helieto soto bratu di ande yegedu shapra kasata baladosh. Le prokoso pregedu shanto zu pregede. Le kosoto bratanda baladu shata. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Let's open our mouth and thank God one more time. Let's thank him. Let's thank him for his goodness. His mercies will be enjoying on a daily basis. Thank you for your love. Thank him for his love. Thank him for his love. Thank you for his love. Mala branda balagado shata. Le prokosu bragadu shanti brigade. Ila da balake zonto bragadu shati brigade. Lord, we bless your name, O Kazi Pragadush. Ento sobra da baladadosa lande balagadush. I prande balagadush. Mako sobra gada da gadush. Inde braga da gadush. I prade balagadush. Leto si pa kasi bradush. Inde braga dush. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we worship. We want to thank God for you know the season we have, the season of um, fasting and prayer. The season of fasting and prayer. The scripture reminds us, you can study that on your own, Isaiah chapter 58, about the type of fast the Lord expects you to give unto him. And in this season, we are going to call before him. Fasting is not for God, it's not to help God, it's for you. So we are going to pray that in this season, Lord, all that you set aside to do in my life, I will partake of it. In that I will not miss it. I will not just fast in vain. It won't be an hunger strike for me in the name of Jesus. This is a time God is revealing himself to us. This is a time God is ministering to us. This is a time God is reaching out to each and every one of us. 
we are praying lord in this season i will partake of that which you've said to do in the name of i will not miss it oh god i will not just count days i will not just be counting time to the time when i'm going to break in the name of jesus Alon tosu brande baluzi prede belege dosha le prege de belege dusu brande belege dosha mantazi palika zoto brege dusha li kaza prede belege dosha nda braga dosha elle belege de belege dosha li kosoto brege dusha mante prede belege dosha i kosi braga dusha hala brada balaga dosha te brege de i na branda balaga dosha te brege duzo brege dusha i la rika zoto brege de in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Today the prayer focus is on, um, you know, deliverance from sexual immorality. But we're just going to pray one or two prayers from there. But we're going to pray, Father, your wind is blowing. Arrest all who are promoting sexual immorality and struggling to legalize it in, them, in the name of Jesus. You know, Amen. Let, let's, let's understand the prayer. I don't know how many of us, sometimes even, even things that are for the children on TV, you'll be surprised the way that they've, in these days, inculcate a lot of things into them. That if we are not careful as parents, you know, things from their cradle is being, you know, infused into them. We're going to pray. So there are some powers that are behind this. We're going to ask in the name of Jesus that as your wind is blowing, arrest all who are promoting sexual immoralities and struggling to regalize it as a moral right we are praying as a church we are standing in the gap in the name of jesus father we pray you are rest oh god he prayed about like a ocean. Ham broke or super In Jesus' mighty name, we're praying. This prayer is not just for your children or yourself alone. You are praying for everyone. That Father, help me to do Your will at all time and find pleasure in doing it. In the name of Jesus, we talk about the will of God on Wednesday. In our, uh, you know, digging deep, we are praying. Lord, help me to do Your will. Help me to do Your will. I'm committed to doing Your will. I am committed to doing your will in the name of Jesus. Father, I am committed to doing your will in the name of Jesus. Help me to do your will. Help me to do your will. He pakasa tende de bosha. He pradiko so prende belege dosha. Handa bala bala kadu so tumbre de belege dosha. Hali ande poko so tumbra hile dosha. He lege de belege dosha. Handa brega de gadosha. Hando si brega dosha li ande ege de. Restore to us, O God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One prayer for the young adults in the house. We're going to pray for them. That Lord, this one will not miss it in life. In the name of... They will not be carried away by vices, O God, going on. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for your children. Pray for every one of them. The Lord, this one will not miss it in life. In the name of Jesus. We can pray better. We can pray better. We can pray better. We can pray better. We can make it louder as we pray for our children. In the name, this one, oh God, will be set apart for the Lord. In the name of Jesus. He casa pra devil a gadosha. Matosi brande boliande yegede. Ilia tosi ande yegedusha. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Let's pray. Thus I've come before your presence this morning. I will not go back the same. In the name of Jesus. I said earlier, there is a word for everyone in the house. Lord, I will not miss my word this morning. That which you are sending to me, I will not be distracted. In the name of Jesus. I will not allow my neighbor sitting next to me to distract me. In the name of Jesus. I will not be distracted, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus. In one minute, let's pray for our pastor. Let's pray for the family. Let's pray for the church of God. That Lord continue to be with the set man. Let your hand continue to rest upon him for good. In the name of Jesus. To you alone be the praise. To you alone be the glory. Thank you Father Lord for hearing our prayers. Thank you Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Lord as we've declared unto you. Your word says even in the book of 1 John. Oh God. 
that Lord you are the God that heareth prayers and we understand oh God that unto you shall all flesh come and we've come to you this morning as we've asked oh God in truth and in spirit please Lord grant our request we'll come back to give you the praise and the glory for in Jesus mighty name amen let somebody shout hallelujah if that clapping of rain is for the King Solo, it's a little bit too much. But if it's for the King of Kings who brought you alive this morning, the one who make you to be among the living, and you are clapping, some of us, we are checking our phone. Why not just clap to the King of Glory? Exalt his name. He's the one that brought you into the land of the living. It's not by your making, neither is it by your might. The Lord woke you up from your bed. It's not your alarm. It is his grace. It is by his will. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Welcome your neighbor to church this morning. Tell them you're welcome. Welcome to church. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The grace of God will be evident in your life. In the name of Jesus, you may please be seated. If you are sitting in the back and you can please make your way forward. Hallelujah. Make your way forward. Come closer. Make, make your way forward. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord will honor you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will increase us all. In the name of Jesus. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. The second role, there is nobody there except for, if you, are you afraid to sit there? If it is money they want to share, you won't mind to sit in the front. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So that those people that come late, we can know them and let them sit at the back. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You are all welcome to church this morning. Amen. Praise God. Our God is good. And all the time, you know, some people, they prefer to sit in the back so that they can talk their, honestly, I didn't say it. Praise the name of the Lord. They come to church just to make, just to talk. I pray that the Lord will help us all in Jesus' name. Please, this is a new year. Know the reason why you come to church. You cannot leave your home, leave your bed. And all you come to do is just, from the beginning of the service till the very end. Praise the name of the Lord. There is always time for that. There is a purpose why you come to church. Praise the name of the Lord. Let that purpose be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. If this Sunday is the Sunday that you pay your tithe, you know we are still believing God for our building. And I know it will happen in our time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Only two people said amen. In my time, it will happen. Shino, can you please rise up from where you are and change your seat? I beg you in the name of God. Amen. You know, there are some people I can, wherever I am, I can pinpoint them. Praise the name of the Lord. There is a space by Mommy Jamodu. Go and sit by Mommy Jamodu. Is it? No, you are not sitting by H2, please. Get up. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, we are in the house of God and time is ticking. Praise God. Our God is good. You know, some people, I know them very well. And I will not, pre I will not take him from where he was sitting and bring him into another. No, it cannot happen. Praise the, In fact, that place he was sitting before would have been preferable. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is good. It's not good to separate husband and wife in church. But when it comes to Tutu and Shino, don't let them sit together in church. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is good. It's good to have fun in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So if this Sunday is the Sunday that you pay your tithe, I want to encourage you, or you probably you have paid your tithe online. Please take a step of faith and come forward. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, please, and I want to encourage us. Many of us, we don't write our names on the envelopes. When we give us the report for the year, people will now be saying, I've, I gave more than this. How do we know? Praise the name of the Lord. The ushers are not magicians. To know who the envelope belongs to. So when you don't write your name on it, they just put it in un unknown. Your money is not eaten up by anybody, but they put it in unknown. 
praise the name of the Lord. So whatever you put in an envelope, it is encouraged that you put your name on it. It adds up. It doesn't matter. It had up. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. So if you're paying your tithe this morning, please take a step of faith and come forward as we pray. And if you have paid online, you can also join. The Lord bless us all as we do so in Jesus' name. Our Lord and our God, we thank you. We give you all the praise, O Lord, for the grace that you have granted unto each and every one of us to go out and make a living. Lord, we are grateful we have brought the 10% into the storehouse according to your commandment. Father, let it be acceptable in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, the grace and the enablement we need as we go out to make a living. Father, please grant unto each and every one in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for every tither in this house. We decree concerning you. Your health will not fail you in the name of Jesus. Devourers will be far away from your house, from your, near, from your dwelling places in the name of Jesus. You will not fail in the name of Jesus. Errors that will put you into problem will not come your way in the name of Jesus. Because you have yielded to the commandments of God, the Lord, the host of heaven, will pay attention to you in the name of Jesus and take care of all that has to do with you. And as many that are redeeming their vows as well, Lord God Almighty, because you said it is not okay to make a vow and not to redeem it. Lord, but as many, oh Lord God, that are redeeming their vows, we pray that Lord God Almighty, you will replenish their purses in the name of Jesus. Custodian of these funds will commit into your hands. Wisdom that they need to appropriate these funds in the right channel. Father, grant unto them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty and everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you please arise for a congregation of him? Standing on the promises of Christ our King.
I don't know what promises you are standing upon, but I am standing on the promises of God that says this year is my year of showers of standing. Stand. Jesus, give us more rain. Once we are wet, once we are soaked in the ladder rain. Choir, please help me. It is raining. testimony in this year of our showers of blessings Lord you will rain upon us like never before in the name of Jesus we hear the abundance of rain Lord that is our testimony Lord we will be wet we will be soaked in your rain in the name of Jesus so shall it be for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You may please be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please clap for the choir and appreciate God concerning them. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to welcome everyone once again to the presence of the Lord this morning. And I want to appreciate God Almighty for this great opportunity. To be honest, I am not taking it for granted. Every one of us here can do exactly what I'm doing here. So I want to appreciate God for this great opportunity that our pastor has given unto me to come and share the word of God with us. And I pray that that God Almighty will bless him and increase him on all sides in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I love for us to learn how to celebrate one another. Amen. When we celebrate, what you celebrate, you will become. And if you don't know how to celebrate others, people will not know how to celebrate you. Praise the name of the Lord. So let us learn to celebrate one another. I pray that the Lord Almighty will bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Our year, the theme for this year is showers of blessings. And I know 
in this month so far, we've been really talking about showers of blessing. And I think I want us to get it before we move, I believe, by next month to something else. But I want us to really understand what it is to enjoy God's showers of blessing. So we are still in that theme. Praise the name of the Lord. The text, we should by now be able to commit it to memory. Amen. That text of that scripture that was given to us. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 26. We should, be, by the end of this month, we should be able to speak that word. Commit it into art and begin to spread the word of God and begin to allow this word to work for us. And I pray that this word will work for each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Ezekiel 34 and verses 26. I am reading Amplified Version. Amen. I am reading the Amplified, Amplified Version. And it says, I will make them and the places around my ill, Jerusalem, Zion, a blessing. And I will make showers come down in their season. There will be abundant showers of blessing. That means there will be divine favor. So I want you to turn this scripture to yourself. And say, the Lord will make me and the places around me a blessing. You're not chorusing, I'm saying my own. And it will make showers to come down this season for me. I and my household shall experience, shall enjoy abundant showers of blessing. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless us. So I want us to commit this scripture to memory. When you go out, tell God that as I go out today, make me and everything that I have in contact with today a blessing. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, whatever you begin to say, you might sound like a broken record, but it begins to manifest. So I want us to begin to commit this word into our lives and begin to say it as though we mean it. Not just to murmur it. Say it the way it suits your situation. Change things there, but don't change the scripture. Put your name. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray that the Lord Almighty will help us in Jesus' name. These showers of blessing, do you know it's not going to be for everybody? It is not everyone that will enjoy showers of blessing, right? It's not everyone that will operate with the showers of blessings. So this morning, we'll be looking at this word, shift. Tell somebody, shift. Tell another person, shift. At the end of today, we'll know whether you want to shift me like soon, I'm taking over. Or shift because I am ready to enjoy my showers. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We read this scripture also on Wednesday, Proverbs chapter 3. And I want to read from verse 3. Where we are going is actually 5 and 6. But I just want to read from verse 6. Because when I was studying, I looked at the Amplified Version. From verse 3, I, I read some things that I want us to understand. Praise the name of the Lord. SHIFT is an acronym. Okay? And we will deal with each of those letters. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 3 to 6. It says, do not let mercy and kindness and truth leave you. Do not let mercy, kindness, and truth leave you. Instead, let these qualities define you. Bind them securely around your neck. Like we put necklace, like we put chain on our neck. Let this word be around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. 
May you find favor before God and men in the name of Jesus. Now, verse 5. Trust in and rely confidently on the Lord with all your heart. And do not rely on your own insights or understanding. Verse 6. In all your ways, no. Acknowledge and recognize him. In what you do this year, to enjoy, to operate, to walk in the showers of God's blessing, know God. Acknowledge him. Recognize him. And it will make your path straight and smooth. It will make my path straight and smooth in the name of Jesus. You're saying amen for me. It will remove obstacles that block your way. Anything and everything that has it at all blocked you from operating in showers of abundance of God's blessing. He says he's removing it. In the name of Jesus. What does S that stands for? Surrender to God. Brethren, surrender to God. Enough of playing church. Enough of surrendering to man. Surrender to the maker of life. The one who makes and the one who can kill. The one who allowed some to go to bed last night. And they did not wake up this morning. The ones who make somebody who was nothing yesterday and today, they are flowing in their millions. Surrender to God. Hallelujah. I believe we understand that scripture very well. We all know what Romans 12, 1, 2 say. Romans 12. Chapter, uh, chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, dedicating all of yourselves. Set yourself apart as a living sacrifice, holy and well-pleasing to God, not to any man. Which is your rationale, your logical, your intelligence, act of worship. And do not be conformed to this world any longer. Enough. You have conformed your life to this world. Enough. You have tried to, if I cannot beat them, let me join them. You make your own scripture. You coin it your way. You do it the way you want it. God is telling you this year, enough. You want showers of blessings? There are some things you must do. And one of them, surrender to God. Absolutely. Not partially. Not maybe or maybe not. Totally, completely. Submit, surrender to him. Let him be the one that drives your car for you. As a man, let God be the one that channel. The, let him be the pilot of your family. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't do it the way you used to do things. Every year, word of prophecy will come. Do we run with it? What are we doing with it? We just chew them. Let this word of the Lord not depart from thy mouth, meditating there at night. But are you meditating, really? I pray that the Lord Almighty will help you and I in Jesus' name. Don't be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs. But be transformed and progressively changed. Don't be like Jesus Christ. Same yesterday, today, and forever. In some aspects, it says be progressively changed. Transform. As you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values. 
and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourselves what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for your life. Brethren, enough of running this rat race. Enough of trying to help. Since you've been trying to help yourself, how far have you gone? Check yourself. At least take a look at your life. As, as many years of your life that you've been trying to do it your way, how far have you been able to go? The concept of offering ourselves as a living sacrifice to God must align with the way you live your life according to his will. Don't live your life by social media standard. It's a no, it's a no life. Live your life to please God. Live your life as if tomorrow I might not be alive to witness what will happen. Live today as if opportunity to live tomorrow is not going to be available. Surrender to God. Let him take charge. It is a must for us as children of God to surrender at to, to, the total control of our life to his will. Easier said than done, but let's walk towards it. It's doable. We can get it done. And I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Let's yield our plans and desires to God's perfect will. Even when the situation is not looking like it. When your life is not looking as if you are, maybe I should allow God. When you even receive a letter that they said they are, they are sending you back to Africa. Come on now. Live your life according to his will. Like pastor will say, don't cook it up. Honestly, if God is in it, he will show up at the very last minute. Hey, I am a testimony. If God is in it, leave it in his hands, but he will show up. God will never put you to shame. Uh, how many people here, you have been in your home, you don't even have a dollar in your wallet, even in your account. And, did, and God did not show up. He will show up. The way he will show up, you and I have no clue about it, but he will show up big time. There is a Yoruba saying, Kaka I am sorry. God will show up. When we think God is delaying, he's working something out. Oh my God. He's working the perfect will of himself out for you so that no one will share God's glory. He says his glory he will not share with any man. Maybe you, you think like, ah, I'm too old. I cannot get married. Says who? One of our fathers of faith, when the wife passed, she, he got married to another woman who has never been married before. I think they said that woman was 60 or 65. Who has never been married before? Hey, when God showed up, People that has mocked you, they will come back and celebrate you. Let us hold on to God. Let us surrender our will to him. Let him lead us. And I know he will never disappoint us. He has never disappointed anyone. Why will he start with me? He cannot. He will never fail on his word. It might be delayed just because of you and I, the way we live our lives, because we doubt his word. He says, when you pray, believe you have received. But many a times when we pray, we see doubt. Showers of blessings is real. 
a lot of people will enjoy it. They will walk in it. They will be soaked in these showers. But you know what? Surrender to him. I surrender all. I surrender all. Unto thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender. You have confessed that song. You're surrendering all to him. Not few, but everything to God. Shift. Surrender to God. Number two, hope in his promises. He who has promised is more than able to bring it to fulfillment. You and I, we speak this scripture, we quote it everywhere. But do we meditate and allow this scripture to work in our lives? Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It says, for I know the plans... And thoughts that I have for you, that he has for me. Says the Lord, plans for peace and well-being. And not for disaster. Ah, don't you get? It says plans of peace and of your well-being. It cannot allow you to be put to shame. The book of Joel told us that it will never put us to shame. Why are we afraid? Open his promises. Speak his word back to him. The problem we have is that we are not speaking God's word back to him. We don't remind him of his words. But you know what? When God is working on your behalf, it might take a very long time. And God knows what he's doing. Recently, I was telling someone, I said, well, I had, I had an, a situation that took me several years. I said, now I know why. Honestly, I know why. If all those years, God has allowed me to have that situation, to have it sorted out, Probably I might not be here today. I would have been born out. Something would have, I, I can't even, I can't express it. Stress would have aged me. To be honest, I look at it and I'm like, my goodness, this is the thing God was avoiding for me. I will not be, this church might not be standing today. Because when we look at our life, we need to take a good look at our life. When some things are delayed, God knows why. He knows why. Let us believe God. Give all to him. Open his promises. Surrender all to him. And the next thing, be intimate with God. Oh my God. Be intimate with God. Our time is fast spent. James 4, 8 says, Come near to God. James chapter 4 and verses 8. It says, Come near to God and he will come near to you. Brethren, if you don't go closer to God, he's not going to force himself on you. Eh, I will come to God when, eh, see, he will leave you. Do your thing. It will not force you. There are so many children out there that God has, is listening to on a daily basis. Some people are already on Monday. Some people is already nights for them. And they are crying to him, he's listening. As we're talking, he's listening to us. He will not focus on you alone. No, he says, come near to God and he will come. You have to first of all go to him. Come near to God and he will come. Come near to you. Be clean in the way that you live. Don't let see two, two edged sword. Double face, face people. 
Don't be double-faced. You are something else at work. You are something else in church. At home, you are another person. True. Really? I always tell people, when you want to put somebody in a position in a church, go and ask their spouse. Or their children. They are the best people that know that person. You see all the things we see in church. It's different. But the people that live with that individual, ask them. I want to make this person a parish pastor. As a wife, do you agree? What can you say about your husband? They are the ones that will tell you the truth. Or honor their children. You know children, they don't know how to lie. They will give it to you as, it, as they be. Anyhow, they will give it to you. But you know what? Many at times we look at the faces. But you know what? God looks the heart. He looks the intent of your heart. As you are seated, our faces might look the same. But the intention in our heart, the difference. But the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. He says, stop doing wrong things. Make your minds clean. Clear your mind. Somebody offend you since 2021. You're still carrying that everywhere. You are carrying cancer. It's just that the thing is building up. By the time it will be a flu bone, a flu blown, whatever they call it. You won't know. You won't know that you've been nursing it long time ago. Come on, let it go. Free people from your mind. If I step on you today, call me and I will apologize. Don't take it home. Don't take it home. Don't even go and tell your spouse about it that sister so and so stepped on me. You want the person to come and beat the other person? They can't beat them. They will just help you. You will, you will just be in the same vein. You see the person next to you, you carry your face. Even the person does not know. You're just killing yourself gradually. Please, let's leave that. Let's move on. You cannot love sin and love God at the same time, brethren. You cannot love sin. You cannot love God at the same time. Choose one. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. God is near to those who seek him in truth and in sincerity. God will move closer to you and he will be there for you. He will, those who seek him in truth and in sincerity. Don't let church, coming to church deceive us all. Don't think because that brethren is in church, they are the trusted people. Test them, test every life. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not saying you shouldn't trust your brethren. But there is always a place of discernment. Try to discern. The Lord will help us. It is very important to cultivate a close relationship with God. Such as building intimacy. Through what? Consistent prayer. This time around, we are having a 50-day fasting and prayer. Even if you cannot pray by yourself. Corporate prayer. Come on the line. To pray. Regular worship and studying the word of God. The Lord will help us in Jesus. And quiet, please help me to sing this song. Draw me close to you.
brethren, you need to draw close to God. Please, we'll sing that song again. But let me run. What did I say? Shift. S stands for? Surrender to? The H? I? Intimacy with God. Now, F. Faith in action. You have to put your faith to work. James 2 verse 17. James chapter 2 verse 17. It says in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. I like the way easy version puts it. It says how we believe in God is also like that. If our faith does not lead us to do good things, if you call yourself a child of God and all you do is to put people in trouble at work, is to tell on others, snitch, is to go do this, hearsay, that's all you do. If your faith does not lead you to do good things, then it is not worth anything but death. You have to demonstrate your faith with action. I pray that the Lord will help us. Number five, let me run because of time. My time is already up. Surrender to God. Open his promises. Intimacy with God. Put your faith to work. And transformation through God. Through Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17. We have all the scriptures, they are common scriptures. Very common. That you all know. Every day, you quote it. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is, grafted in, you are joined to him by faith in him as Savior. He is a new creature. You are reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. You know, I love Amplified because it's all, all that you can eat. It gives you everything all together. In between, you know, and everything. I love it. It says, He is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral, and your spiritual condition that has keleg. The way you used to behave, your life that is not upright, have passed away. Let them go. Let's go. Oh, I have done 10 abortions in the past and you have given your life to God. Ah, I'm married now. That's why I'm not giving back. It's a lie. The lie of the enemy. When you knew not that you were committing sins. He says all things, your immorality, your unclean life. He said they are passed away. Live in the new. Behold, new things have come. Because spiritual awakening brings a new life. Brethren, don't get me wrong. I did not say go and be committing abortion and say you are giving your life to Christ. There is always consequences. There is what? Consequences. Mm. Consequence is there. You will enjoy. There is consequences for every action. You have to be transformed. But when you say you have given your life to Christ, that's what I'm saying. You are now a new being. You now need, live a new life. You are a new man. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Real quick, I will read. 4, 22 to 24. It says that regarding your previous way of life. You put off your old self completely. Discard your former nature. Let them go. Which is being corrupted through deceitful desires. And be continually renewed in the spirit of your mind. Having fresh, untarnished mental and spiritual attitude. And put on the new self, the regenerated and the new renewed nature. Created in God's image. That's God-like. 
in the righteousness and holiness of the truth, living in a way that expresses to God your gratitude for your salvation. Putting off your old self and embrace the transformative power of Christ is the best thing ever. As we wrap up this morning, the shift journey brings showers of blessing. Surrender to God's plan. Find hope in his promises. Allow faith to lead you to tangible actions. Intimate. Be intimate with God. Through Christ's transformation. And you, and you positioning yourself for divine showers. Committing to live out these principles on a daily basis. No doubt you will enjoy you will work. You will participate in God's abundant showers. Let's bow down our heads. It is a shift. I don't know which area of the shift matters to you. If it is all, pick it up. Maybe you have given your life, you surrendered your life many times. And you are, the way you give it to him, you take it back. Totally now surrender to his will. Amen. Let his promises, believe in his promises. Open it. Open the promises of God that God has given unto you. If the Lord has promised you that this year is your year of showers, walk in it. Walk towards enjoying shower. Everything that will bring you showers, that's what you should do. And what are we expecting you to do? Pray continuously. Study the word of God. Align your will in his will. Be intimate with God. Talk to God. You want to draw close to him. Choir, help me. You want to go closer to God this year. Let's be upstanding. And we sing that song. Yes, Jesus. If you know the song, join the choir and sing it. I lay it all down again. Oh, to hear you say, to hear you say that I'm your friend. You are my desire. You are my desire. Nothing else will do.
Father, we just want to say thank you. What wonderful words you've sent our way this morning. Daddy, we pray that you breathe upon your words in the life of everyone in this house today. Father, you will cause our life to be a fruitful one. In the name of Jesus, shower your blessings even upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, and your vessel that you have used this morning. Daddy, we pray, O oh Lord, that all the words, O oh Lord, that she has preached this morning, O oh Lord, these words will not stand against her even on the day of judgment. Let our life be a reflection of everything that she has said this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, your word said, those that refresh it shall be refreshed back. Daddy, I pray that you will refresh your daughter in all ways, in the mighty name of Jesus. And the grace of God upon our life will never diminish in the name of Jesus. Thank Thank you, blessed Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let's bring our offering. Let's dip our hands into our pockets this morning. The Bible says a generous person will prosper. Um, a liberal soul shall be made fat. A generous person will prosper. Let us bring our offering joyfully. Let us bring our offering cheerfully this morning. Praise the Lord. I will lift up my voice and praise the Lord. I will lift up my voice and praise the Lord. My heart has me no choice to praise the Lord. My heart has me no choice to praise. that you have granted unto us to be able to give this morning. I pray that this will be the least that we give in your house in the name of Jesus. And as for those that were not able to give today, Father, we pray that next time, O oh Lord, that we gather like this, you will give them even in abundance to give unto you in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you bless the giving, O oh Lord, the offerings of your children, O oh Lord, that is today. Glory and honor be unto you, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are we glad to be in the presence of our Father this morning? Praise the Lord. How many of us have been blessed so far in today's service? Hallelujah. We thank God for his word. We pray that he will grant us grace to run with his word, even in this new week in the name of Jesus. Can the media please help us with are trying to um, attend to that, I'll just quickly take my announcements from here. Hallelujah. Just want to take time to um, recognize anyone coming to pay for the first time. 
If you're fellowshipping with us for the first time, can you wave your hands, please? Okay, smile at your neighbor and say, neighbor, come with a friend next week. Come with a family next week. And the Lord will bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. And so we just want to um, thank God for the kingdom-minded women. They'll be having their conference come March the 8th to 10th, 2024. Hallelujah, you can celebrate Jesus better. Hallelujah. And our theme for this year is titled Potential Awakening. And the Bible verse will be taken from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I pray that indeed the Lord would awake us to that which he's doing in this season in Jesus' name. Amen. And we also have our fasting that is ongoing. Hallelujah. Has the Lord been good? Has the Lord been good? We thank God for strength. We thank God for grace. Today is day 11. And we're trusting him to finish with us strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, part of our announcement, we want to um, remind the people that have enrolled for the workers in training, the baptismal class, the believers class, kindly wait immediately after the um, service today. Our teachers will be taking the class. It kicks off from today. So please let um, the parents of the children, let them please take notes and just take time to wait behind for your son or your daughter. Is the announcement ready now? Thank you. Welcome to the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Dallas, Fort Worth Central, a place of hope and transformation where people fulfill their destiny. It's time for announcements. Our minister's prayer meeting is from 8.30 a.m. to 8.45 a.m. Workers or leadership meeting is from 8.45 a.m. to 9 a.m. Our Sunday school is from 9 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. Please do try and make it. We don't want to miss all of the knowledge that is being bestowed upon us. Our Sunday transformation service is 9.45 a.m. to 12 noon. Wednesday Digging Deep is every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. This is where we dig deep into the Word of God and also understand what it is that God is calling us to do. We also have our ministers available to answer any questions that we may have. Every first Wednesday is our Hour of Divine Solution. Our Friday Faith Clinic is every Friday. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So come and be empowered in the Lord. Our Empower Night Vigil and Holy Communion service will be every last Friday of the month from 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. Please save the day for the following announcements. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We thank God for our sister who graduated yesterday. And we also thank God even for the, um, the past um, prayer retreats that came off in the um, RCG, the Americans, and um, more announcements will come on our platform. Please let's take notes on our WhatsApp platform. And please don't forget, tonight we're going to also be praying. So let's just take note of our announcements on the platform. God bless you. In Jesus' name. We hope standing as we bring the service to a close. Praise the Lord. Our prayers, um, our fasting and prayers today, we we continue tomorrow. So we are not having prayers tonight. By tomorrow evening, we will commence again. God will bless us in Jesus' name. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he Worthy of a worthy of a praise, no man on earth should give glory to himself, for the glory must be to the just begin to appreciate the King of Kings for his word, for everything, Lord. Thank him. Give him all the glory. Let nobody share of his glory today. Right from the beginning, the workers meeting, the, 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 the Sunday school, 
to the ministration, the choir ministration. Say, Father, take all the glory. As we go, we empty ourselves of all the glory, Lord. We empty ourselves of all the glory. We say, take it, take it, take it. It belongs to you, Jesus. Begin to receive all the blessings because the blessings belongs to us. Begin to receive the blessings, O oh Lord. Thank him. Thank you for giving us back the blessings. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Okay, let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I shall live, I shall not die. I shall live to declare the glory of God, to declare the works of God, to declare the counsel of God, to declare the faithfulness of God, to declare the love of God, to declare the righteousness of God as a true child of God, a soul winner, a believer in his word, doing the will of God in the land of the living in this year 2024 and several years to come. Amen. To our showers, showers of blessings. Shalom.